Hello students, in this video I am going to explain about uh, the preparation of urea formaldehyde resin. Reagents required are formaldehyde, urea and then concentrated sulfuric acid. Urea and formaldehyde must be added in 1 is to 2 ratio. Uh, as a first step, we should take the weight of the beaker. Okay, So, it is a 50 ml beaker, it weighs around 29 grams. To this, um, I am adding um, urea. Okay, So, when the weight reaches 31 grams, um, urea weighs around 2 grams. All right. Now, to this 2 grams of urea, around uh, 4 ml of formaldehyde must be added. To add uh, formaldehyde, we should use a measuring jar. The 10 ml measuring jar is used here. And then using dropper, formaldehyde must be taken from its container and then dropped into the 10 ml measuring jar. So that when it uh, uh, when it is measuring around uh, 4 ml, it can be added into the beaker um, containing the uh, 2 grams of urea okay now it should be dissolved thoroughly we have to stir it constantly uh, until the solution becomes a transparent so before it is thoroughly being mixed we should not add the sulfuric acid okay ensure that the substance is completely dissolved um, so when it turns into a transparent solution at that time we can add one or two drops of concentrated sulfuric acid while um, adding concentrated sulfuric acid, we should be very, very careful because it is highly um, corrosive. Okay. So, uh, while adding sulfuric acid, it is uh, better to uh, place the containers in the sand and then add a sulfuric acid to this beaker. All right. So, uh, it should not be dropped onto the floor or onto our hand. Uh, it's a highly dangerous one so better to place in the sand and then use so when you add one or two drops to it um, on con on stirring you can observe a white color resin appearing okay so this should be um, again uh, stirred constantly until you get a solid mass of it okay so at this stage if you touch the beaker bottom of the beaker you can experience or you can feel the hotness so that means it is an um, exothermic reaction that is evolving heat okay so when it cools down to the room temperature we can take weight of it now the weight goes to uh, 37 grams so that means 37 minus 29 29 is the weight of the beaker uh, that is 8 grams is the yield of the urea formaldehyde resin. Alright. Okay. So, I think you understand uh, about the preparation of urea formaldehyde resin. Watch my previous video. Uh, its link is given in the description box to know about the theoretical part of this experiment. Okay. So, where I have discussed all the um, procedures and the steps of the preparation. <laughs>